Hey folks, it's Dr. Brad Semp here, aka The Busyness Doctor and host of The Busyness TV Show on Busyness.com. Now you can see today I'm coming to you from my car. Little shift here, little change in scenery. Anyways, today's episode is brought to us by ListPing. ListPing is an email management and autoresponder service geared to helping you to build large and responsive email lists. Create an account right now for the first month at only $1 at listping.com. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about your coffee fix. And then we're gonna cover self-imposed work, or what's also called self-imposed pressure. And then we're gonna finish up with consequences, the consequences of your action. Hello folks, it's now time for our All BS segment. This is a segment in which I just spout off about stuff, hence the BS. In today's segment, I'd like to talk about something that I call coffee fix. Now, the other day, I was in line at Starbucks to pick up a coffee for my lovely bride and myself. And if you take a look at the picture here, I went to the drive-thru. Now you can see where the on the right, the white uh, Tahoe or Expedition there, the large, large truck vehicle, I was actually parked behind where that vehicle was. So my car was actually sticking its rear end out into the aisleway here, right? So there was a car coming down the aisleway would have saw me in its way just the same perspective that you're looking at here in this picture although imagine my car in in the way they're blocking that from the, that car proceeding and the car comes right up next to me and beeps his horn and I was like are you kidding me are you kidding me number one there's plenty of room to go around and number two what are you in such a hurry about so as the drive through line moved up, and I moved up to where that white truck is now, I turned around and I watched, and I'm watching this guy, trying to figure out where's he going? Is he is he hopping onto the main highway real close by, and you know, hightailing? Is he late for work or something else, or is he going to get a coffee? Well, sure enough, he pulls into the Starbucks parking lot there, takes his time, gets out of his car, just you know, leisurely walks across into Starbucks to get his coffee. And I was like, are you joking me? You had to beep your horn at me because you felt that my being parked there in the drive through line was hindering his ability to get his coffee fix for the morning. Wow, unbelievable. So I started thinking about that. I'm like, you know, what is it? What is it do I have that I have in my life that is a coffee fix or akin to that, right? And what do you have? Are there some things in your life that you're busy? Are you busy going to get coffee? Are you busy going to uh, talk to your friends about the football game the night before at your at the water cooler and in the you know cafeteria or the break room at your job or your work or maybe it's at home busy trying to go do something that that you shouldn't be doing. So what is it? What are you what are you fixing to do in your life or at your work? that maybe you shouldn't be doing. I'd love to hear your comments. Scroll down below and engage with me. Leave a comment on this particular All BS segment. I'd love to hear if there's anything that maybe you're doing that you shouldn't be and what you thought about this segment. It's now time for our Factivity segment. This is a segment in which I take a look at little known facts or statistics and we dissect them and apply them to our life and work from a perspective of busyness. Now, today's stat is from the Society for Human Resource Management in spring of 2009. And this was a study that they did that showed that 70% of respondents, of so 70% of employees who they talked to, admitted that they work beyond the scheduled work time at in nights, on nights or in on weekends. And the number one reason that actually over 50% of the folks who responded cited the reason that they were working beyond normally scheduled work hours was because of self-imposed pressure, right? So self-imposed pressure, or in this case, self-imposed work that comes from that pressure. And, you know, so I started thinking about that. Wow, do I do that? You know, have did I do that back when I worked in the corporate world as an executive? Do I do that now, today, 
as an entrepreneur? And I think the answer is both yes. It's, it's yes in both uh, circumstances. And from a, a corporate perspective, right, I, I think back and I say, man, you know, as an executive, I think that there's two reasons. One is I would respond to emails or take some type of action beyond the regular scheduled work time so that people on my team would know that I was keeping busy, that I was working hard, that I was working more than the normal call uh, above and beyond the duty, the call of duty. And number two was that I would also respond to, say, my management, right? The executives that, that I reported to, uh, so that they knew that I was there late on an evening or that I was checking my email over the, the weekend, whatever the case may be. And then from an entrepreneurial perspective now, you know, why is it at times that I go check my email in the evening time? Less, you know, less now that I, I have a in place a, an email management system that I use, but you know, there are still times that I do that and on weekends and I, and, you know, there's times in my life where I, this was really, really a struggle for me. And why is that? You know, I think in the entrepreneurial standpoint that unless you're generating recurring revenue, right, that, that you feel like, well, if I'm not working, then I'm not generating revenue, I'm not generating cash for my pocket. And I think that's one of the big reasons for entrepreneurs. So I'd love to hear your take. And just as you step back, you zoom thing to the 30,000 foot level and take a look at your life and at your work. Are there things that you're doing that maybe you should be doing, right? Because you're you're imposing self-imposed pressure. You're putting pressure on yourself to do things, either at home or at the office, causing you to work outside the normally scheduled time that you should be. I'd love to hear your input on that. Scroll down below and leave me a comment. I'd love to get engaged with you and, and dialogue on that. Let me know what you find as you look at your own life by way of self-imposed pressure. Welcome to the Unbusy Minute. Today's topic is consequences, specifically consequences of action. This is something that most people do not take into account as they're designing their actions to produce results. But every action has consequences, whether we know the consequence or do not know it. Whether it's, as I say, known or unknown, intended or unintended, every action produces consequences. So we can be better designers of actions and better action takers if we, ahead of time, take a look and try to project and understand what the potential consequences of our actions are. If we look at marriage and divorce, unwanted pregnancies, drugs, alcohol, uh, work, how we affect our coworkers, everything we do, every action that we take has consequences. So I challenge you to spend a few moments as you design your actions to understand and predict what the consequences are and to help you guide what actions you take and what actions you don't take. That concludes today's episode of the Busyness TV Show. I'd like to thank you for joining me here in my car, in my drive to the Southern Florida area. And you know, you may be thinking, "Wow, Brad, so busy that he has to film in his car." No, that's really not the truth. The truth is that many of you are providing your feedback to us, I, we, I really, really appreciate it. And much of the feedback says, "Hey, Brad, I love your show. I love the content, but get away from that desk." Give me something else, a different background, a different environment to listen to you. And so that's what we're doing. I'll still be at my desk at times, but I hope that you enjoyed this particular episode from my car during my drive. So scroll down below and leave a comment. I'd love to hear your input on it, what you thought, whether you like it or you hate it. Either way, good or bad, I want to hear from you. I'd like to welcome you back next week as well as each and every Thursday as we release a new episode of the Business TV Show. And remind you to come to business.com where you can register to receive show notifications and updates, or you can also receive updates and stream our show via iTunes. So subscribe via iTunes. Don't forget also to like us at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash busyness TV. Also at Twitter at twitter.com forward slash busyness TV. I'm Dr. Brad Semp, and I'd like to thank you for watching the Busyness TV show. I look forward to seeing you right back here next week.